guys in this video we'll be going over the array dot filter method in javascript and we'll look at uh, we'll look at an example of each use case and syntax um the filter method uh, runs a test on every element in an array and returns a new array with the values that pass the given test for example uh, let's say um, our test cases is to um find out all the ages in this array that are greater than 50. So we will use the filter method and the filter method will retain all the values of this array that passes that given test that is greater than 50. So let's implement it in code and see. So, oh sorry, um, ages, the filter, um, takes in a callback, the callback takes in also three arguments, so it is the filter current value, mm, current value, so I mean this current value greater than, greater than or equals to, equals to 50, yeah, let's return that one. Since the filter methods retain a new array, we can store, um, the new are the result in a variable here so const new ages equals to let's save this and print the new ages to the console console.log new ages sure so let's run this code and see our results so node filter.js okay so you can see from our results here uh the our new ages variables uh contain uh, variable contain only the element of this ages array that passes this given test that is that are greater than 50. Uh, so basically the filter method is used to so for on every iteration the on every iteration the filter method will check oh it's 50 greater than or equals to 50 oh it's true so to store it inside a new array that it will return so 10 no false this will return false so no skip so 20 um skip 30 skip 60 store it in, into the new array 70 to the new array 80 up to the last element so it checks whether every element in an in a given array passes a test so when they pass a test a given test then the that value will be returned into will be added to a new array and that new array will be returned and here we are storing the return value uh, into a new variable called new ages thank you